Welcome everybody to Filmora Effects and today we're going to learn how to animate text. With Filmora 11 there are a lot of ways to animate text. Today I'm going to show you my favorite way and that is to simply keyframe it. Keyframing is very powerful and you can make it do just about anything you want it to do. Let's break down this project and I'm going to show you how I did it and then we'll do a few other examples. Alright, so I have hidden the tracks of all this other stuff which you saw in the demo and we're just going to simply focus on the video clip which I got from Filmora 11's free built-in stock media in Pixabay. Now I've got a bunch of these but um, to search through my saved ones and I chose this file right here you can see it okay so we'll scroll through and you see the person pouring the coffee and I fade in the word coffee and then we start to twirl the coffee and fade it out into the cup and then I did a whole bunch of other stuff too and I'll show you in a minute but let's just focus on the text portion for a second. So first thing you want to do is in your clip figure out where do you want something to happen. Okay. So let's double click the text and you can see I used the word coffee. It's in that square. Because I keyframed it you can't see it all yet because I did an opacity trick which I really love to do and I'll show you that in just a second but I needed to pick my color and my font and my size and all of that so I just chose yellow because it shows up good against the black coffee to see your keyframes after you've made them you can simply double click on the circle on the white circle right here now I find it easier to get the playhead marker out of the way so you don't accidentally click on that so just double click and it'll bring you right up to what you were doing now you can see I've got the opacity set to zero and as I scroll across watch the opacity not this not the uh, screen over there you can see it slowly come in okay now also pay attention to the scale at the beginning I have the scale set so the very first keyframe is I'm simply scaling up with opacity of zero so that by the time the opacity shows through you can start to really see the word. Alright, let's zip over to the end. Now here, okay, here I want you to pay attention to the opacity line, the scale line, and the rotation line. So we're going to watch everything at once. Don't look over here. Just watch this stuff for a second and watch what happens. So we are going to rotate it 360 degrees. We're scaling it back and we're dropping the opacity all at the same time until it's gone into the coffee cup. And that's it. That's what I did. Then to make it fancy, I put some music on it. I added a LUT, which is an effect called teal and orange so I'll leave everything off you can just see the teal and orange effect I'm gonna turn it on and off so you can see it just look at this part right here the white that's normal that's me normal me why did I do that look at the handle look at everything and also the teal and orange matches up with my color scheme of the coffee real nice of the word Okay, then I just went really crazy and I did this anime overlay, which I really like. And this is just to make a lot of movement on the screen so it doesn't look too boring. And of course it changed the color slightly. But let's hide that, hide that, and hide the sound and get back to what we were doing. Keyframing the text. Okay, let's do another example for you. We'll just bring it out here and we'll just... Drop one in over here somewhere.
Okay, let's do ahead and do that example. For this one, no special effects, no sound. Uh, just simply a video clip and a default title that I have keyframed and animated. Let's watch it real quick and then I'll show you how I did it. So we're just scrolling up and we're going to do a little bounce, 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 and then scale up, fade out. And that's it. So. <clears throat> The clip is just a guy walking. Once again, I got that from Stock Media Pixabay, and I've already downloaded it. So once you download anything, then they automatically put it here in the download folder for you. It's kind of like favorites, uh, although you can pick favorites as well. So anyway, it's in there. Uh, and that's it. I just chose good old default title which you can get from titles and you can search for default. I have put that as one of my favorites because I use it for almost everything. I did not change the font. The only thing I did here was pick a, a preset color of style text style number eight, the yellow. And I left everything else the same for this demonstration. And once again, to look at these keyframes after you've done them, simply drag this playhead marker out of the way. And just double click on the little round circle and it will bring you to that particular keyframe uh, it will move the marker back over here but it's easier for me anyway just get it out the way and we're going to double click right here and we're going to start by looking at our default title and just so what I've done is positioned it down low and let me get it right back on there for you. Here we go. Okay. So position zero, zero. And what I did is use the mouse left mouse button and hold and drag the Y position to wherever you want it. So then I went over and I set my end point right here. And you can see I took the text right off the screen by simply dragging this Y axis. I'll drag it around for you so you can see. And I set it right up, almost off the screen, right about there. Then we move over to the next end position. And you can see I've simply taken the Y axis and dropped it down. And I'm going to stretch the timeline out here for you for this one. And this is a simple effect. It only takes a second to do, but it's really cool. And we're going to do the bounce. So check out the Y at 220. Okay. Count the number of frames you want. And drag your Y upwards. Do it again. Bring it back down. Do it again. Take it back up. Bring it back down. And that's how you can make the little bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay. And for the final, let's go all the way to the end. You'll have to see it because I got the opacity. So watch the opacity. And this time, watch the scale. It's the first time I used scale for this one. So we're scaling way up. And at the same time, we're bringing the opacity down. See it just kind of fade out right there, gone. And then, uh, of course, if you were doing this for real for something, you'd add in some uh, some awesome music. You put some crazy LUTs and special effects and some stuff going on everywhere. And that is how you can animate text to make it do just about anything you want to do. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. Coming up soon. I'm going to show you some other ways to animate text uh, that are pretty awesome. And we're also going to show you how to make your text follow something on the screen, which I know a lot of people have asked for. So we're going to show you how to do that. Uh, it's also very easy with Filmora 11. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you real soon on the next video.